Hi, good morning, everyone. Danielle here from Naturally at the Wren's Nest. Um, I am the creator, maker, sole proprietor of Naturally at the Wren's Nest. It's just me. Um, and I make natural handcrafted soaps and skincare um, to put a great big smile on your face. Uh, so today I'm jumping on to talk about hands, these babies. Don't look too closely mine are not the best um and the couple of hand creams that i make um one of my hand creams that i make hard working hands is probably my best seller out of everything i make it is the one in the last 12 months that i have sold more of than anything else um and it is the one that people keep coming back for um it is the one that some customers have in several different places around their house um, they have it in their car, they have it at work, um, and that is my hard working hands cream. This is it here. Apologies for showing you my own pot, but I sent out the last pot of my current batch yesterday, so I have to make more today. Um, so this is hard working hands cream. It's quite a thick cream. Um, this is it here on my hand. Um, the base of this cream is cocoa butter, calendula oil, um, and beeswax. Uh, so those three ingredients form the base of the cream. The cocoa butter, super moisturizing, really good for the skin, softens the skin, soothes the skin. The calendula oil I've talked about before, amazing. Healing, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. Um, and the beeswax is a really good addition because the beeswax provides, as well as moisturizing and those properties, um, it provides a barrier for your hands. So when you put on the cream, um, it leaves this almost like a protective layer over your hands. So if you're outside working a lot in the garden or if you have a very good manual job that you're using your hands all the time, it just provides that barrier for your hands. So the beeswax is a really good addition um, in there. And also in there you have rose water. Um, and I use the rose water to sort of lighten the cream a little bit because if it was just the cocoa butter, beeswax, calendula, it would be really hard. Um, it is a fairly thick cream already as it is. A little goes an awful long way, but the rose water just loosens it up a little bit and lightens it up a bit. Um, and plus you have rose in there, which is going to bring lots of benefits to um, really soothing and really healing for the skin. Um, and the blend of essential oils that go into this little pot are lavender, lemon and benzoin. Lavender I've talked about before, really healing essential oil. Um, it's got really good... Um, antibacterial properties um, but particularly I use it in this for its healing properties. Um, the lemon in there is there for a couple of reasons. It's antibacterial um, but the main reason I put it into this is because it's really good for dealing with age spots on your skin. So your hands are usually one of the first places that um, show signs of aging. Um, you'll often notice with older people that their hands are very almost creppy looking you know the skin gets really thin really quickly on the hands you'll see lots of little dark spots they're called age spots so what the lemon does is the lemon helps to fade those a little bit so if it's something that you're conscious of it wouldn't bother me but if it's something that you're conscious of getting age spots on your hands the lemon will lighten and brighten um that on your skin hi siobhan good morning um so that's the lavender and lemon and the third ingredient that's in here and probably the most powerful one in this little blend is the benzoin. Again, it's what I've spoken about before. Benzoin is an ancient, ancient essential oil. It's actually not an essential oil, it's a resin. Um, it comes from a tree. Um, it's a real thick, oozy resin. It's been used for thousands of years. They used to use it you know, to, to make offerings to the gods. They used to use it to make incense and all that sort of stuff. But they discovered as well that it's a really powerful healing um, substance. So I use it in oil form. You can get it in an oil form. It's very thick, very gloopy almost, but it has incredible healing properties. Um, so if your skin is sore and cracked, which mine is all the time, um, I work in a garden centre as well, the day job, um, and I spend a lot of time out in my own garden when the weather permits. Um, so my hands are always in bits. They're always sore. They're always cracked. The cuticles are always in bits. So this is my go-to. I have it everywhere. I have it in the car. I have it in work. I have it on my bed. I have it in the kitchen. <laughs> um, so the benzoin is the one that really heals the skin. Um, and it gives it 
a lovely sort of a vanilla smell as well. Um, it's got that sort of a scent to it, but really powerful blend, lavender, lemon, and benzoin. Um, so it makes this pot a really, really healing, moisturizing, soothing cream. A little, as I said, goes an awful long way. It's very rich. Um, and spend a couple of minutes rubbing it into your skin. You will find that it might seem a little bit oily when you put it on first, but just keep rubbing within two or three minutes that will have so, uh, absorbed into your skin. Um, and your hands will feel really good after it. It will give you instant relief. I have a lot of customers from all different walks of life that are using it at the moment. Um, my latest one was, um, some of you will know, I spent a couple of weeks in uh, the hospital, or I spent a week in the hospital with my little girl there just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and of course I had that in my bag, so I was using it all the time. And the cleaners in the hospital fell in love with it. So I had several of the cleaners calling into me in work the other day to get pots of hardworking hands. Um, so, you know, they find it amazing. Their hands are in and out of water all the time. The nurses were the other ones that, that uh, a few of them tried it out as well. Um, but it's just really good for anybody who suffers with dry, sore hands. If you're outside working a lot, if the weather is tough on your hands, um, if you have constant cracks. So if you suffer with eczema, maybe on your hands either. Um, one of the girls at work uses it for that reason, finds it gives a great relief. Um, it's just a really hard-working hand cream. So it's for hard-working hands, but it's also a hard-working cream. Um, and it is my absolute bestseller. Um, that little pot I'm showing you there at the moment is in a little plastic pot, but as of last week, all of my um, creams now are coming in tins or jars, glass jars, so the plastic will be gone. So <clears throat> just in case you do order it um, and you're wondering that why it came in something different, it's coming in a tin now. So that's hard working hands. Hi Caroline, how are you? Yes, I know you love your hard working hands. It's brilliant. I love it. I couldn't be without it. Um, so that's the hard working hands. The second hand cream that I do, this is it here. This is light and lovely. Um, it's just some little dried rose petals on the top of it. So light and lovely came about, <clears throat> excuse me, um, around Mother's Day last year. I first introduced that um, and I actually made it with my own mommy in mind and uh, she loves her gardening she loves her flowers um, so this one is a very floral scented hand cream but it's also a really gorgeous one to use on your hands as well um, my mom is as I said is a big gardener so she spends a lot of time outside and her poor old hands to be in bits so I made this one really with her in mind um, the blend that's in the, the base of that is I have cocoa butter and shea butter in there. Um, and also there's a few different oils. There is some rose infused oil. So I picked and dried roses from my own garden and there's rose infused oil in there. There's avocado oil, very rich, very moisturizing. And there's also some wheat germ oil. Wheat germ is amazing antioxidant. So it would be really good to help with anti-aging signs on your hands. And um, so that's the blend that's in there. Um, and then the essential oils that are in there, as I said, a real floral mix. You have lavender, rose, and ylang ylang. So it smells very different to the hardworking hands. Um, and it's a slightly different consistency because it's not the same blend, obviously, of butters and oils. It would be a little bit lighter. Um, I call it like the more refined sister to the hardworking hands, who's a lot brasher and in your face. Uh, this is a lot more refined. This would be a lovely one to get for your mom or your nana or your aunt, for anybody really, but it's a really refined hand cream. Um, but the scent is gorgeous, really floral. You can smell all of the individual oils, the lavender, the rose, the ylang ylang, really beautiful. Um, like the hardworking hands, a little goes a long way. These are very rich creams. I don't use water to thin out my creams. I don't use any hard, uh, thickeners or anything like that. It's just natural oils and butters. And then the essential oils are added for blends um, or for different effects. But so they're really thick. A little goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot. A pot of that will last you a long time. So just remember that when you're taking it out first, don't lash it on you because you'll be rubbing for ages for it to absorb in. Um, so that's light and lovely. The, quieter, more refined sister to hardworking hands, but a really, really beautiful blend. And again, um, I just have a couple of pots of that last blend, uh, batch left. Um, and after that, this will also be coming in a tin as opposed to a plastic jar. Um, I'm trying to get rid of all the plastic that I'm using at the moment. It's not a lot, but 
um, I would prefer not to be using any at all. So they're going into a tin going forward as well. Hi, Siobhan, what's your question? Are most of the ingredients from my garden? Um, no, the butters, the butters aren't. Um, a lot of the oils I would make myself. So I make my own calendula oil. Um, I grow the calendula in the garden and make my own oil. The rose infused oil, I would make my own rose infused oil too. I also use a lavender infused oil and some other products. I would make that myself as well. Um, and the dried flowers would be all from my garden. And they, those oils would go into my soaps as well. Um, so I would grow the flowers and the herbs in my garden and then I use those to infuse oils and I would use those in my products. But the likes of the cocoa butter and the shea butter, obviously, you have to you have to get them elsewhere. And the essential oils you would have to get elsewhere as well. I don't make my own essential oils. Unfortunately, I wouldn't have that facility. You'd need a big, huge still and everything. So no, but I do. I grow all my own flowers and I make my own infused oils. So they would go into the products. Um, so it's really natural. There's nothing in there that's... That, is chemical there's nothing in there that's artificial um it's just a hundred percent natural ingredients and a hundred percent pure essential oils as well and um, so they're my two hand creams you have hard working hands and you have light and lovely um there's definitely one for everybody uh, i think you probably find if you do go for the the which one to go for to start off with i would say go with the hard working hands um particularly if if um your hands are really dry and in a bit of a state at the moment. It is absolutely brilliant. It's becoming a real cult product. Um, and I love hearing that people have it stashed all over their house and their car and work and everything. It's great, um, but it's beautiful and it does the job and that's the main thing. So there are my two hand creams, keeping it short this morning. Hard working hands, light and lovely. I'll put the links for both of them below uh, if you're interested in trying them out for yourself. Um, and if you have any questions, pop them on here and I'll answer them afterwards as well. Um, I will be back next week at the same time. Thank you, Caroline, Siobhan, Debs, all those who joined this morning. It's lovely to have people popping on with their questions while I'm chatting as well. So thank you so much for joining in. Um, if you like what you've seen this morning or if you know somebody who has really sore hands and needs some decent hand cream, I'd love if you shared your video. You don't have to, but it would be great if you if you did. Um, but thank you, and I will talk to you all next Wednesday. No idea yet what I'm going to talk about, but I will let you know as the week goes on. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye.